Four months after the storm that flattened Tammy Fogarty's hinterland home and turned her life upside down, she's still picking up the pieces. This has been our home for 30 years and not being here is, is the hardest thing at all to deal with. Her insurance is covering temporary accommodation while engineers decide whether the house can be salvaged. But as time goes on, people forget. They just get on with their lives while we're still dealing with the aftermath and, and it's going to be a long time before we're back to normal again. Queensland is grappling with a $2.2 billion damage bill from last summer's disastrous storms. Across the southeast, more than a thousand homes were affected and the Queensland Reconstruction Authority is monitoring repairs. We're always conscious of anyone that slips through the cracks and this is where the community played such an important role. For some, the rebuild has just begun. We might be out of our home for six or eight weeks, who knows? The neighbours here, they're out of their home full stop. This upper Coomera property was so badly damaged it had to be demolished. On Tambourine Mountain, a tree cut this house in half. Repairs are underway. The owner says he'll be $100,000 out of pocket. Sam Bray's Wongawallan home is among those destroyed. It's, it's completely... It's completely gone. He's rebuilding it himself. There's a backlog of insurance claims, with 60% of them still to be processed. For those still waiting for their claims to be assessed, it's a long, slow process. And even if the claims are approved, many owners face an uphill battle to get their home repaired because trades are in such high demand. It would be too depressing to look more than a couple of days in the future at a time in this process. Mackenzie Collahan, ABC News, Gold Coast.